Hey guys, so today I decided to do something a little bit different instead of just doing a makeup tutorial. Um, I went to Ulta and I purchased a whole entire face of Essence makeup. So um, the only thing they didn't have was foundation. So that foundation, I decided to pick Catrice foundation. It's the same price point. Um, Essence is on the lower price range. Um, most of the stuff ranged, I think the most expensive thing I got was $9.99 and that was the eyeshadow palette. But they always do deals like that was with Ulta where buy one get one half off, which is what I got. So everything I got today, I literally got for under 50 bucks for an entire full face of makeup, um, which is really cool. So it's kind of fun to sit there and just look in one section. And in this video, there are some hidden gems and some products that I would have never even seen or thought about trying at all unless I was like specifically looking at them or looking for them. Um, this is the completed look with the um, Essence product and the One Catrice foundation. Of course, usually with um, lower price ranged foundations, they never have it in my shade. So it'll like bring it down my neck a little bit. So it is a little yellow. Um, a little yellow. Yeah. All in all, um, if you guys continue watching, you will see my thoughts and see all the, the fun things I got. Um, so apparently this is going to be a thing. This is going to be me doing makeup videos is going to be a thing again. Um, it's late at night right now. I worked all day, came home, took care of babies. And you know what? I enjoy doing it so much that I'm willing to take a little bit of sleep out of my schedule that I get a lot anyways, um, to do these. Um, I really like doing them. So since this is going to be a thing, why don't you go ahead, if you enjoy it, subscribe. I don't know where the, I don't know where the subscribe button is these days. Uh, you know, a lot of ch has changed on YouTube in a decade and apparently there's like a bell now. Um, YouTube's got a bell. Okay. You guys, I've been out of the YouTube game for a real long time. Like I'm talking about, I used to do this back in 2009, like literally 10 years ago. Um, so there's a bell for notifications. So if you want to get notifications when I put up a new video, then go ahead and ring my bell. Ring my bell. Just go ahead and keep watching for all the fun Essence stuff we are going to try today. All right, guys. So full face of Essence products. Um, so first, I have nothing on. So we're going to go in their Hydra Primer Spray. Totally did not realize this was a primer spray when I picked it up. I totally thought this was a uh, setting spray. I'm going to use it for both. Let's see. HD Hydra Primer Spray with coconut water. Uh, the HD Hydra Primer Spray is the perfect base for your daily makeup. It hydrates your skin and gives an energized, fresh skin feeling with coconut water and pro-vitamin B5. Fancy. Uh, less visible pores for an even skin tone. Use alone or under makeup. Uh, shake well before you use, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I mean, I'm going to use it before makeup. I'm going to use it after makeup. Because I got another primer, too. So. But I can use all the help I can get. So. Not super coconutty. Not. I mean, it's. I don't feel like it's a super even spray, but uh, a pale complexion. This ultra soft primer is here to help. A oh, pale complexion is totally me. Uh, the texture with natural pink clay gives the face a fresh touch and minimizes pores uh, optically for a wide awake radiant complexion. The texture is translucent upon application. Use alone or underneath makeup. So, what it looks like very glow glowy there's it's a peach with splotches of like a darker color in there a pale complexion I feel like it's giving me color it smells pretty good do I look over here check it out let me look close up um I don't feel like it really made my skin that much glowy glowier I 
you know, I think it's trying to be something kind of like strobe cream maybe, but strobe cream definitely has a way more of a glow to this, but we'll see how it does in filling the pores. I can see a little bit of glow there, but. All right, so Essence did not have a foundation, so I just went with another brand um, called Catrice, which is like the same kind of price point range. So I picked up the HD Liquid Coverage Foundation from Catrice Mattifying Second Skin Effect. Lightweight and non-oily texture that feels like a second skin provides a long-lasting full coverage without mass effect and creates an even complexion. With high-definition finish for camera, ready skin, dermatologically tested, shake before use. So this looks like it's an eye drop serum type of foundation. I've never tried this. I know some people that have used it and said they really liked it. There's that. I picked up the lightest shade. I guarantee you I'm going to be shocked if this matches me. So I'm going to shake it up. I'm going to go in with my handy dandy, uh, I need to clean it. Don't judge me. Um, it cosmetics brush. I love this brush. I love this brush. I love this brush. It's so good. Okay. <clears throat> oh, you guys, this is not going to match me. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. All right. Oh God. Oh my God. This is not going to match me at all. It's pretty liquidy. I mean, it's not like totally running down my hand. There, It's a medium movement drip drippage. All right. Let's go in. <laughs> Definitely not my color. But for the sake of the video, let's just work with it. We can, we can work with this. We can go roll with it. Work with that. Okay, so it's going on and pretty easily. I feel like Okay. Okay, bye bye, Redis. I'm pretty impressed with the coverage. Actually. I believe this was let's just pretend I'm something I'm not. Which is Pigmented. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's promising some things. All right. You better not break my heart. Camouflage matte concealer. Uh, waterproof tattoo covering. Camouflage matte concealer. Ultra covering liquid concealer with matte finish covers instantly dark circles. Uh, covers instantly dark circles, blemishes, and tattoos. Long lasting and waterproof. So this should help lighten it up a little bit. So here is the applicator. It's just a doe foot applicator. Let's see. Let's see how this baby goes. Okay. So it doesn't seem to be to seem, oh, it doesn't seem to be drying too fast. Which I like in a concealer. I don't like concealers that dry too fast. I tried the L'Oreal infallible one and that dried so insanely fast I hardly had time to blend it so I wouldn't say it's the fullest coverage concealer I've ever used I would say more like a medium all right foundation and concealer is done so now we're gonna go in with eyebrows. I've never, I've used brow pens before, but I've never used like the three prong ones that people are always coming in for. So this is the Essence, the eyebrow pen, semi-permanent. What do they mean, semi-permanent? Hmm? Semi-permanent brow pen, unique trident tip for precise or intense application, stains the skin lastingly. Don't know how I feel about that because if this is a terrible thing and a terrible color, like, how long am I going to be stuck with that? Oh, so that's what it looks like. So let's see. I've never tried anything like this. So let's see how this, let's see how this works. Oh. That is just... Okay, Essence. 
I don't have to wait to the end of this video to let you know my thoughts on this one. I'm just going to say it now. No. 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 This one. This one's just going to have to go right in the trash. Right in the trash. Next, we're going to go in with the Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. So it comes in a doe foot applicator. Eyeshadow base for long-lasting and color-intense eye makeup. Alright, hopefully this will help neutralize my lids. I feel like it's a little watery. Like, really thin. Where my favorite primer, Anastasia, is nice and full and thicker. I picked Salute Paris. Uh, welcome to the City of Lights where the mood and romance is always in the air. A selection of nine highly pigmented eyeshadows inspired by roses and chocolates including velvet soft mask with buttery finish. Alright, so first I'm going to go ahead and swatch these and see if they're actually highly pigmented and as buttery as they say they are. So these two colors literally look almost exactly the same. Like I'd say that's a guy. The teensiest of difference. Okay, that one is definitely, definitely soft. Just a very light color. Oh, I have so much stuff on my hand from this, but these colors are literally my skin tone, so I'm putting it on the area that had the foundation. So this is like a grayish brown. It almost has like an olivey undertone to me. Um, I thought, I mean, that was the color that kind of stood out to me the most. So. Okay. And these two are also very similar. This one has more pink to it, not more as a warm brown. And then you have two shimmers. You have like a light pink and a kind of rose. The shimmers are not as buttery, but they, wow. Okay. Okay. Essence through shimmery pink. It's really pretty too. Then here's a mauvey brown. And then we are going in with another shimmery metallic, like reddish brown. I have to say, I'm not too, I'm not too upset with how this swatch. It's really not bad. All right, so the eyeshadow palette that I picked, they have quite a few eyeshadow palettes. Um, I try to pick something that I don't have, that I don't have a lot of. Um, I haven't even swatched these or anything yet, so. I'm going to use the lightest shade under the brow bone first. I'm going to go in with that pinky mauve rose color with that fluffy brush. That's going to be my crease. And then I'm going to take the lightest brown here, probably mix up a little bit of that just to blend out the edges. I did grab Zinc About You Melted Chrome Eyeshadow. So this is like, ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, let me sort of, Oh, the texture is buttery. Holy cannoli. That is just that is insane. I am impressed by touching it, so we'll see how it works on the eyes. That's really pretty. And then I'm going to take that 
crease color on the little stiff brush that I got from them. The smoky eye brush, I think they called it. That's gonna go on the outer half. So to finish off the eyes, I got the Super Last Eyeliner in matte black. And I don't even know what kind of, oh, it is, oh, it's a felt tip. It's a very long, like long. I'm used to like shorter, stiffer. We're going to go in with the Essence Lash Princess, which is their like huge, literally sparkly fingers. Um, their big seller that, that most, most people know Essence for. So for the setting powder, I got the All Matte, All About Silky Matte Fixing Compact Powder. The Silky Smooth Compact Powder to perfect your look. It mattifies and fixes your makeup and additionally improves, or additionally provides a healthy and natural glow for all day long, all skin tones. It feels very dry. It feels super dry. It feels fine. Do I feel like it smoothed out my face? Um, maybe a little bit. I feel like it smoothed out that a little bit compared to earlier. And set the true test is going to be a wear test. Let's go in with the Contour Duo Palette. So this is Duo Palette for perfectly shaped and defined feature. It applies on nose, sides, along the chin, and below cheekbones. So... Soft formula. The one thing I do have to point out that I do like about this, especially being fair complexion, it's really hard to find a shade. I do like the shades of this. The highlight probably would not work for maybe more of a setting powder, but I do love that the contour shade has like a hint of a grayish undertone to create the illusion of like an actual true shadow. Honestly, I, I really like this contour. I don't think it's too pigmented, which I feel like sometimes contours can be, and then you're working way harder to blend them out. Or for me, my skin tone, if you're on the fair side, I really like this. I could probably use the lighter one as a setting powder. I might be able to use it as a highlighting powder. Um, and then I'm going to go in with their matte touch blush. This is in shade Bury Me Up. It's cute. They have a little star pattern right in there. I like the color. I like the color. It's pretty. I don't hate it at all. So the only things that are left are the two lip products. And I tried going with a nude. I don't do nudes too often. So I did get a lip liner and a lipstick. So their lip liner is Soft Contouring Lip Liner. Deeply Intoxicated. And this here is... And then I got... Color Boost Matte About Matte Liquid Lipstick. All right. Ooh. It doesn't say, but I would recommend shaking this up because I had like oily stuff kind of fall right out of it. And it went on really sheer, so I shook it up and that seemed to help. So. Let's kind of go through the stuff that I used really fast and what I decided I liked. So we already know I threw away the brow pen. That got trashed. The brow pen was, no, not for me. It was stiff. It was hard. It, the product didn't come out very well. The color was weird. It got darker in some spots and not in others. Just not for me. As far as the primer, uh, Priming Studio Hydra Spray. Okay, it was all right. We'll see, like... I didn't feel like, I mean, it kind of covered my pores. I don't know if it was that one or this guy. I totally thought this was a setting spray when I got it. So I'll have to keep using it. It wasn't overly coconutty. I'd say I'm going to keep this in my stash. This is going to stay in my stash. And then the Glow Boosting Primer. Um, I don't feel like it really minimized my pores. I don't think it was very glowy. 
Um, I think it, it would glow me on. I just don't. I'd probably use this like on my days that I don't really want to wear makeup or I don't want to use my really good stuff. Um, so, I mean, I'll keep it in my stash. It's not going to be a go-to. It's going to be like my stash. It's going to be my stash for like my crappy rainy days. Like, you know, like your, your granny panties that you wear on your laundry days. That's this. This is my granny panties of makeup. The Catrice Foundation. Ooh, um, you guys, I don't know. I think this is going to go in my granny panty stash. Um, the concealer. The Camouflage Matte Concealer. I don't think it's a full coverage. I think it is just more of a medium coverage. I actually don't mind the texture of this. Um, at all. I think it brightened. I don't feel like it accentuated any fine lines. Um, so I'm actually going to keep this in my stash because I will, I will use this. All about silky matte. Um, it just feels super dry, but when you work it between your fingers, it feels super silky. So, um, I feel like I don't know, I feel like with a more moisturizing foundation that this powder would work for me. Um, and I don't really use a whole lot of powder anyway, so this just might be good just to set in those places I kind of crease and be soft. So I will put this in like my rainy day stash that I use on like my days that I'm not working and I just want to wear a little bit of makeup because I don't think it's garbage. I don't think it's total garbage. The Essence Matte Total Blush. I was happy with this. Um, there wasn't a lot of kickback. Um, I feel I put this blush color on and it still looks like I haven't even touched the thing. So you're getting a lot of pigment out of it. Um, you just have to work to blend it a tad bit more. So if you don't mind that, then I think this is good for the price of $2.99 or $3.99, whatever it was. Contouring Duo Palette. I won't use the highlighter shade. It's too dark for me. I could use it as a setting powder. I use it as a hot eyeshadow. Um, I do really love the contour shade um, for my skin tone. I feel I do love the fact that it has a little bit more of a grayish undertone. Um, so it creates the more of that really true illusion of a shadow underneath the cheekbone. I love that it's not overly pigmented. I hate contour shades that are overly pigmented. Um, I think it's because I'm fair and I really have to work at blending that out. So this will be going in my stash. Essence Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. I don't love it. Um, I don't feel like it made my eyeshadow any more smooth. Um, I don't like the fact that it's such a thin, wet consistency. Sorry, I love color intensifying. This one, trash. The Lip Liner and the Color Boost matte liquid lipstick i am going to keep in my stash i really like the lip liner color went on nice and smooth the lipstick went on just make sure you shake it up it doesn't say that in there but if you try these make sure you shake it up shake it up shake it up melted chrome shadow 100 percent yes this was beautiful the texture is creamy and wonderful i am actually gonna get the rest of the shades of this because I liked it that much. I think this is probably the winner of today's, uh, you know, finding products. I loved it. I loved it. And then you get the Lash Princess Mascara. All their mascaras are great. I'm going to put this alongside the Melted Chrome. For the price point, these are fantastic. I've only heard great things about their other ones. They have a huge range of mascaras. And with that price point, you could try all of them and still not break the bank. So this will be something that I keep repurchasing. This liquid eyeliner, the matte black. I am not seeing any flaking. Um, it's super dark black and it is totally matte. Like there's no shine, it dries down completely matte. I just wish the brush was a little bit stiffer and not so flimsy so I could create a line a little bit more and have a little bit more control over what I'm creating. Um, but all in all, I I do really love the formula of this uh, this uh, eyeliner. And last is the eyeshadow palette. Um, 
So I'm not totally wowed by this palette, but I don't hate it either. It's one of those ones that, you know, I gravitate towards so I don't have to use my really nice stuff on days, you know, I want to wear some makeup, but not a lot. I'm like in between on this. I'm not, it's not the best eye palette in the world, um, but I am probably going to keep this just for the days I need to use something. I don't want to use my fancy stuff because um, it still works pretty nicely. So, And I do like the color story of this palette quite a bit because I really don't have anything with this color story. So beautiful. All right, guys. So that is it. That is today's full face of Essence Makeup minus the foundation, which was the Catrice foundation. Um, this was really fun to do and just pick out a bunch of stuff and try a bunch of new stuff because I feel like there's so many brands coming out and you aren't really going to know what you like or the hidden gems like that melted chrome eyeshadow that was hidden on the bottom shelf all the way in the back that you had never seen um, unless you're really searching for it. So, um, and I haven't really seen many other people do um, full face this of essence makeup. So I had a lot of fun doing it. It was really fun testing out their products and trying some new things, but yeah. Um, hope you guys liked this video and enjoyed it. Um, I had fun doing it, but I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.